hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl gracie d i hope you guys are doing amazing i'm doing great here in gisenyi rwanda the land of a thousand hills if you're watching me and you haven't yet subscribed to this channel kindly consider subscribing also don't forget to leave a like comment and share my link with your friends and loved ones so on today's episode you all know that we are in gisenyi a uh, city the fourth largest city they have in rwanda the land of a thousand hills gisenyi is a beautiful town located on the shores of lake kivu in rwanda it's known for its stunning scenery vibrant atmosphere and welcoming community so during this visit i was invited by a friend of mine that we met through instagram and i decided why not like he's decided to invite me to go and uh, visit Gisenyi and explore and make some videos there i mean that was so kind of him if you're watching this video i'm really grateful i don't take any of it for granted your kindness your help and everything i really appreciate uh, for what you did for me uh, during this visit and it's on this visit that i managed to discover a different neighborhood that they have here in Gisenyi town so this was me on my way after the bus park going to the place that i was gonna be staying for the time that i was in, in Gisenyi it's just seven kilometers away from the city center and it's one of the places that they have so many hotels so many beaches nice beaches so many lodges hostels I mean this is the location that most people when they visit Gisenyi go to stay and I decided why not give you a tour of this area so that when the next time you visit Gisenyi and you want to be close or next to the beach where you can have coffee as you're sitting next to the lake beach that they have here in Gisenyi which is the greatest lake they have in Rwanda Lake Kivu so we are on our way to this one beautiful neighborhood called Brasserie or Nyamumba here in Gisenyi, Rwanda. The ride was quite, you know, okay. The weather at this time was quite perfect. I didn't get rained on. At least it was not very dark. The lighting was also perfect. And as you can see on the road, guys, the road is very clean. The area is very clean. And this is outside Kigali for those who are wondering. Yeah, you can see there is some water on the road because it was uh, raining. It's a rainy season right now. Uh, this is one of the beach that they have here. It's next to Serena Hotel. And this is on our way to Nyamumba um, neighborhood where the place is full of um, hotels. So I'm going to give you a bit of small history about this place. And I hope you guys are going to love this episode if you're watching and you haven't yet liked this the video kindly don't forget to leave a like comment share and leave a comment down below tell me what you think about these beautiful sceneries and that is the lake kivu with you know seeing the hilly parts of rwanda and some other parts on the other side that is goma in congo so stay tuned and watch this video till the end
so guys the reason as to why like i decided to do this video is just to show you how beautiful this area looks like one thing about me i love greenery like this is a place that i would live because i love the smell of nature like i will give anything you know to be in such a place to have a home in such a place like it's very close to the center i don't have to worry about that but then again i'm having everything that i need like you know living in a greenery neighborhood or a greenery area and you know the cold fresh atmosphere the smell of the environment the trees the chirping of the birds in the morning when you wake up the sound of you know the lake at night when you're just sitting next to the lake like this neighborhood feels amazing when you're here so this is one of the places that you should not miss visiting when you visit Giseni city and you'll thank me later raseri located seven kilometers away from the city center of rubavu district offers a range of food and drinks including local rondan cuisine and international dishes to cater to the diverse taste of its patrons if you are interested in visiting this area make sure to try the nice restaurant the nice beaches not forgetting to visit where the biggest brewery they have in Rwanda that's located in this area so this was in the evening after i got to the place that i was staying i took a short you know uh rest and then later my friend was showing me around it was at night and it said i want to show you these beautiful sceneries here in Brasire. So here is where they have the biggest and the only brewery that they have in Rwanda and uh, we decided to go see it and it's actually very beautiful. Glad we went here when it was already dark and I could experience see this beauty of this brewery. Too bad they cannot give us free beer for to taste and you know Steve Amstel is also as good as the Rwanda and the country. <laughs> but yeah so i got to see this brewery which also located in this neighborhood so that basically tells you like alcohol here is like quite affordable for those who like partying i didn't ever want to see you cry let me know that was the reason why it's over you live a lie I needed what you gave to me You're everything a living dream I know I feel like crying guys It's raining right now So yeah, don't mind about this So this place I am, they are trying to make this uh, guest house And we're staying at the back Like, oh god But I love the compound, the way the compound looks like when all this is finished and then you're gonna come stay here with this nice view and you have the lake view oh man it's amazing they've already like kind of even worked on the compound i hope i think this will be done uh in um by next month i mean by towards the end of next month because they are done with most parts they are just like renovating the whole place and they want to give it a whole new different look so i don't know what we're gonna do like it's raining so we should wait for a little bit i think i'm gonna like uh let's go have uh coffee and something because i was skipping breakfast but now because it's raining and it's almost like um 12 it's 12 actually that's why i was waiting to see how the weather was gonna turn out like but let's go and see if we can have something to drink at a restaurant around here. And I'm gonna take it with me. Oh, not an enemy. Did you feel it though? We were riding low and only thing I know. So guys, this is the area I'm staying in. Like all these like from up to all the way down there they are all like hotels and restaurants and like pubs what is the name of this area 
Nyam nyam ba. So guys, this place is called Nyamumba Brasili. Brasili, right? Brasili. Oh, Brasili. So, I, I, like, I walked to yesterday and all these parts, they're all like restaurants, hotels, and pubs. So, we're just gonna walk a bit and then we later gonna like find a motor to go to the city center. And then we can do the Gisenyi city tour. Hi. We can do the Gisenyi city tour. Like, I mean, look at the view, guys. It looks really amazing. And as you can see, it's been raining. Oh, God. So that's... That lorry is carrying... Uh, it's, it's carrying the beer. Like, it's going back to the factory. Because actually back behind uh <laughs> on this side is where they have the brewery and that's the only brewery they have here in uh, rwanda and of course the nice view of lake kivu like when you're here you get to enjoy this nice view of lake kivu there are nice restaurants nice lodges nice hostels that you can live in around here so I'm not going to focus so much on this area. I'll do a tour of this area on its own. But right now, we're going to go to the city center and explore Gisenyi. Like, look at this kid. He must, he's not feeling cold and he's enjoying to walk on bare foot. And it's been raining. I bet I would have done the same if I was his age. Because kids really enjoy to have uh, to play in water. So there's also another like restaurant here. It's it's a Kivu Duck Bar and Risotto. I bet Risotto is restaurant in French. And another thing I've realized, like I've just seen people like asking for lifts to go to town, and people are like very um kind here they will just carry you <laughs> but for me i will never do that <laughs> the overthinking in me and the the scary girl in me will never let me so on this side they have maize so basically this is like a village if i'm not sure yeah my friend told me it's a village and uh it's uh how do you say it as you can see it's a beautiful village and uh, you guys have been complaining that we only show Kigali so this is like actually way far from uh, Giseni city center and uh, we are like you know we're walking a bit and get to explore this area so what I'm like basically trying to say is that this area is clean because people they're always like you only show us Kigali but as I said when it comes to cleanliness they don't joke about that. Every part you go to in Rwanda is clean. You can see they don't have any papers on the ground. The place is quite clean. Very well. And that is something that they all do in Rwanda. Like every last Saturday of the month, they have to clean their area. It doesn't matter where you are staying in, whether it's in a, in a village or it's in the city. It's a rule here in Rwanda and you must attend because every every area has locations where they all need to go and do videos. Uh, I mean do cleaning, not videos, and do their cleaning. So if you don't attend your sector, you're fine for that because that is breaking the law here in Rwanda. So that's why like the government has put that in so that they make sure that everyone attends when it comes to cleaning their country and everyone must do it. It's not only for specific people, because, you know, it benefits them, you know. And the view, look at that hill. That's why uh, they call it the land of a thousand hills. Um, it looks quite beautiful. Oh, God. I think uh, we should take a bike, and then when I, I get back, I'll give you a tour of this area i don't know if you're gonna find a motor here so basically this place 
uh, most of the people who like live here or come to this area are mostly tourist people because all these are like hotels and lodges and they are quite like quite expensive i just saw that motorbike but i think he's going to get someone some of them are quite expensive so you can only like mostly meet like tourists around this area i most places are like hotels i don't see so many of the locals walking out or maybe because the kids are still in school there's a way to the beach down here hey Abuso. No, I'm doing a video for YouTube. I, I, I speak in Rwanda. No. No, I don't speak in Rwanda. No, I know a little bit. Kiswahili. Yeah, Kiswahili na onge. Una kijak Kiswahili? Oh, kidogo. When in Rwanda, I'm Congo. Natika kwenda mjini. Natika kwenda town. Bubavu. Eh, Kisenyi, eh. Okay. Kwa rua kwa kwa rua mugu. Ah ah, natembea kidogo alafu nikipata motorbike ndachukua. Si kwa nataka kutembea huko kwa stage sababu nilikuwa nataka nitembee nikitengeneza video. Ulikuwa huko ngapi? Nilikuja jana. Jana. Eh. Oh. Naona hii kilima. Eh. Nyumba yake naona mjini mjini mm. oh ukipanda ile mlima e, naona mlima mjini <laughs> naona mjini wa Bisenyi <laughs> ah naita naita jina Rubavu Rubavu eh Kembeni <laughs> Goma oh so, so eh, Nick... Goma Goma vinakutana oh so guys is like uh, he's telling me if i go up that mountain i'll be able to see Goma mm. Goma which is in Congo and i'll also be able to see the Gisenyi city Mm. Oh, city ya Gisenyi. Lakini kupanda ile mlima si ni kazi nyingi. Nikupanda ile mlima ni kazi mingi sana. Inachokesha. Ah ah, nauliza inachokesha kupanda, si ndio? Unachukua masaa mangapi? Unapita ile barabara chini chini ya ya chilima. Hana ku hana kupanda. Okay. Kupitia hivi hivi. Ni sawa. Sasa ukamate moto. Eh nitaka mata moja nikipata. Ni ya kwenda mjini. Eh nashukuru asanti. Wewe. Yeah, so guys, yeah, so that guy just was asking me why I'm walking. He just Yeah, like Rwandans are very friendly. I like that about them from the young generation to the old generation. You feel so much welcomed and you don't like get to feel afraid of anything or scared. Yeah, so he basically told me if you up on that mountain, you get to see you can get to see Goma and also Gisenyi city. Hi. You have a boat. <laughs> uh, not today. It's raining and um, I have another plan to go to the city. I'll come back. Thank you. So yeah, this is uh, the, the Lake Kivu, the great famous Lake Kivu that everyone like tells me. You should visit Lake Kivu, guys. Now here I am. Where should I go? The hot springs, boat rides. I'm not yet sure. I'm not that good when it comes to water. I'm not friendly with water, but I try to. So, the place really, it, it looks nice, like this neighborhood. I bet I should like make this a video of its own. And then I'll make another video. Uh, I'll just make this become a video of its own. Another, ep a different episode. That is what I'm trying to mean. And then I'll make another now when I get to the city, I'll make another episode. Can you imagine guys, this is a village here. Like, wow, it's beautiful. The only thing I keep on wondering, how do those people, like I'm seeing very nice places, nice houses up there on the hill. How do they get to go up there? 
is it not tiring it must be very tiring to get to go up there and um how uh, anyway the work actually feels amazing thank you lord he listens to my prayers now i can walk and i can be on a motor without scared of the rain i just want to get this view and a bit around that corner and then if i find a motorbike i'll hop on the motorbike because this actually place is a bit far from the city it's about uh from where i'm staying to the city it's about seven kilometers they have nice resorts nice beaches so you can like just go in there and enjoy the view of the lake as you're having your food or something yeah so you can do that so this is the hill oh man you see they even have like farms on the hill they have uh, i'm seeing bananas i bet they are bananas all these i think because of wind i didn't see it that well yesterday when i was on a motorbike that's why i wanted to walk and experience these so you see you basically like can visit the lake anytime you don't even need to go to like uh, a resort for you to experience or explore the lake but it looks very beautiful Ooh. guys i'm loving this view and uh, you can see at least on this part there's some neighbor uh the, it's there are some people living around here and these are their houses so you can see the difference between how they do houses here and how they do them in kigali city basically because this is a village it's a village guys and uh, villages have different li uh, lifestyle to city life and that is almost everywhere in the world even if you go to the west and you go to their countryside homes they are way different from what they have in the city wow i'm loving this place it looks amazing so many resorts and uh, restaurants as i told you and hotels Oh, it's starting to drizzle again. It's starting to drizzle again and it's scaring me. Because I can't imagine like heavy rain raining on me. Because I'll probably get sick. Ah, this hotel, it looks nice. We used to call such houses in Kenya Manyata. The roofing is made of grass. And also here, the gutters are just as clean as the ones they have in Kigali. There's a motorbike guy coming. Maybe I should hop on that. Hi, do you have a motorbike? Yes. Are you going to town? How much is it? Hmm? Can you take me? Oh, I thought he's a motorbike driver. <laughs> oh. we, 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 are, we are not the drive. Oh, okay yeah. then. I'll get he's as a... He is going at home. Who? He is going at home. At home? Yeah. Okay drive then. Off, not, not. Oh, he's, he's at home? Yes. Okay, thank you. You must, you must go like that. I think you, you, you will reach there. Yeah, and I'll get one. Yes. Okay, thank you. Maracuzzi. Yeah, so I thought that guy was a motorbike driver because he had like uh, the reflectors and he's dressed like a motorbike guy, but I've been told the driver has gone home. <laughs> so let's see. I'm just praying it doesn't rain. 
guys this place looks amazing like the views this i think if i were to live in such a village i would when i have everything i have internet food and i can enjoy the lake beach even though i'm not a, really a fan of water it's such a nice neighborhood that i will not uh i will not worry of living there I've gotten a motor. Let me see how much it's going to charge me to go to the city. Maybe I want to go to the city. How much are you going to charge me? Hunger huh? here. The center is how much? No, huh? it's your own day. I always pay 1,000. It's charging me 1,500 and the other guy also told me it's 1,000, so. 1,000. Okay, guys, seems like we get ourselves a motorbike. So we have to put on the helmet. Let's go to the city. Yeah, so let's go see the great city of uh, Isegi at Slope. And I hope you guys will love it. I think for this episode of anything here and then we'll start a new episode of uh, Like the video, comment, subscribe, share if you haven't and see you on the next episode. I didn't ever want to see you cry Let me know that was the reason why it's over You live a lie what you gave to me you're everything a living dream i know not an enemy did you feel it though